start by deleting the cube. Then add a circle mesh. Then head to edit mode. Extrude on the Z axis by 3. Then scale up by 1.3. Then add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R and grab it down to the bottom of the cup. Now add a face to the bottom by selecting the edge then pressing F. Now we are gonna add thickness to the cup by adding solidify modifier and give it a value of 0.4. Then apply the modifier. Next to smooth it out add a subdivision surface modifier. Set the view and render value to 3. Then shade smooth it. To get rid of the ripples in the bottom face of the cup, press tap to edit mode, then insert the selected bottom face by pressing I. Now time to add the handle. Add two loop cuts one at the top and one at the bottom, to roughly match the size you want the handle to be. So now we will select the two faces right onto the side of the cub, and extrude them out by 1.6. Select these two faces and press I and insert them by 0.35. Then press 2 to switch to the edge select mode then right click and choose bridge edge loops. Then select these two faces at the outside and move them in by 0.25. Now add loop cuts to smooth out the transition between the handle and the cup body. I extruded the handle twice by mistake, so that's why the transition looks hard, but yours should look fine. Now tap out of edit mode, and we should be ready to set up our camera. Tap 0 on the numpad to go to camera view. And go to camera settings and set the camera type to orthographic, and set the value to 15. You can position your camera as you want. Then add a plane and scale it up to fill your camera view. Then move the cup up so it's sitting on top of our plane. Now I'm gonna head to render view and delete the default point light because I'm gonna add another one later. Then press the shading tab to get the shader editor. Add a new material to the cup. Then head to render view and add a sun lamp. Rotate it by 45 degrees. Then select the cup to see the material we added. Delete the principled node. Then add a diffuse node. What we are gonna do is setting up a basic tune shader. Then add a shader to RGB node. Connect it to the diffuse node. Then add a color ramp. And connect it. Set the type to constant. And drag the white value to the center. Next to see it clearly increase the sunlight strength. I gave it a value of 5000. Next head to render settings down to color management and change from filmic to standard. Select the cup back to see the material, then change the white color to a bluish color. You can see the value I used on the screen. Then copy your color, and paste it into the black color and decrease its value to 0.3. Next select your plane and give it the same material as the cup, then separate it so we have another material. And change the blue color to a pinkish color. You can also see the color I used on the screen. And we will do the same to get the darker shade. Now it's time to add outlines to our cup. Do that by adding a new material. Set it to emission. Then give it a dark color. Then go and add a solidify modifier. 
Under Normals tap Check Flip and under Materials, set the Material Offset to 1. Make sure to have Back Face Culling enabled under your line's Material Settings and adjust the Thickness value to change the line's thickness. I used a value of 0.05. If your line is clipping through the ground feel free to move up the cup. Then I will enable Bloom. Now we have our cup ready to render press F12 to render it out. Don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe for more tutorial like this. And I will leave the link to the project file in the description.